Hi, thank you for joining me. Today, we're going to learn how to make a very simple slip cover for a pillow. A few weeks ago, I walked you through a house that I staged to sell and transformed it dramatically by just doing inexpensive things like covering pillows, old pillows, with new covers and being able to adjust the color scheme the way I wanted it to be and look and define the space and I'm going to show you how easy it is to transform any old pillow into a brand new pillow. Alright, I just started with this old pillow that I found at a thrift store for a dollar or you could just use any pillow in your house and I'm going to slip cover it with this fun fabric here. It's a fleece and I think it will be cute on my daughter's bed. Do you like pink, that fabric? Pink. Yeah, it's got pink in it. Do you like that? Yeah. Will that look pretty on your bed? Yeah. All right, this is just a square pillow, but you can use any shape pillow you want to. You just have to measure across from seam to seam and this one is 16 inches so we're going to make one square 16 inches big and we're going to make another square 16 inches plus 4 inches so one square will be 20 inches all right so one piece will be 16 by 16 and one piece will be 16 by 20 so we're going to go ahead and measure down 16 inches and Make a cut mark for that place. Next, we'll measure 16 inches across and we'll make a cut mark on the top only because we're only going to cut one of them 16. All right, I've cut up my 16 inch mark and now I'm cutting up my 20 inch mark. You can use a rotary cutter for this or you can just do the scissors. All right, now that my 16 inch piece and my 20 inch piece are cut. I'm gonna go back to this length of 16 inches where I made that cut mark. I'm gonna turn it so it's a little bit easier to cut. And now I'm gonna cut that all the way up. All right, now I have my 16 inch piece on top, my 20 inch piece on the bottom, but they're folded over because I haven't cut that part yet. So this was just a folded over piece of fabric. So now I'm gonna take and just Grab it and cut that in half. I'm going to let go of the camera so I can pull it taut to do that easier. Okay, so you just hold one side down, put the scissors in, and pull towards you. And that way you're able to cut them in half really easily. Okay, now you have your two pieces, 16 by 16 and 16 by 20. All right, I'm gonna set my 16 inch piece aside for a sec and just leave the 16 by 20. And I'm gonna cut this in half. So I'm gonna fold it over and do the same thing I just did by holding it down and pulling out gently with the scissors. All right, now that left me with two pieces that are 16 by 10, because 16 by 20 cut in half. Well, you do the math. All right, now it's time to go to the machine, and we're just gonna take these two pieces, I've placed them right sides down, this is wrong side up, and we're just gonna hem them with a half inch hem straight down, both pieces. Now we turn them over to the right side and that's the finished edge. All right, now we take our 16 by 16 piece and put it right side up. And then we're gonna lay our 16 by 10 right side down on top, matching the corners, match the corner there and 
with the hem on the inside, match the other corner there. And then we're going to pin those all the way around. I only had to pin in seven places, just on the corners and in the middle, and especially right here on the overlap. Now we're going to sew half inch seam allowance all the way around. Don't leave a hole because the hole is left right here. Hmm, come down to our first corner. Right, we're going to slow down and go over the bump. Stop with the needle down, lift up the presser foot at the corner, turn, presser foot down, and keep going. All right, we've gone all the way around. Okay, now I'm just going to take each corner and I'm going to trim it off so it's not quite so bulky. Alright, now we're ready to turn this baby right side out. So just take that hole that you made and push out all the corners with your finger. There's one finger. There's another corner there. And just push it out. Alright, all the corners are pushed out. And now we have this finished flap, and we're just going to insert our pillow right here inside this flap. All right, in you go. And there we have our slip cover pillow nice and tight and beautiful. Thanks for joining.